Hi students, welcome to Engineering Graphics class. I am Dr. Vinod Kumar, adjunct professor in Kochi University of Science and Technology, Kochi, Kerala. In this video, intersection of solids H, we are going to do a very interesting question that has come in QSAT in June 2013. June 2013, very very interesting question. I have not seen this question elsewhere. I have not seen this question elsewhere. The question says a pentagonal prism is standing on the base, on its base, standing on the ground on its base with a side of base perpendicular to PP. The side is 30 and the height is 60, standing on its base. This is penetrated by a square prism, 30 mm side, with its axis parallel to both planes and all lateral faces equally inclined to each. If you want to see it, this is how it stands. This is how it is. Pentagonal person standing like this with an edge of base perpendicular to VP, which is penetrated by a prism like this. Square prism like this. All lateral faces equally inclined to HP and the two axes intersect. The two axes intersect. I have drawn the plan and derivation of the vertical prism, pentagonal prism A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. I have drawn the derivation. I have also drawn the MU. You know the MU is wider than the derivation. In square prism, what will be the orientation, derivation and MU will be geometrically same. Whereas in pentagonal prism, in this position, elevation is narrower than the MU which is wider. Okay. A double dash, B double dash, C double dash, D double dash, E double dash, F double dash, F double, F double dash, G double dash, H double dash, I double dash and J double dash. Okay, now the axis is O double dash P double dash which coincide there. I have not marked. If you want, we can mark the axis also. The axis come at the geometrical center O P. And if you mark it here, it is O dash P dash. And if you mark it here, it is O double dash P double dash. Not okay. Now this is penetrated to the horizontal prism, which is a square prism whose side is 30. So this rectangle is 30 root 2. And the elevation also, this width is 30 root 2. Thirty root 2. 30 root 2. Axis length is 70. Okay, axis length is immaterial. In intersection of solids, axis of the prism do not have any role. Axis in the length, intersection of solids, so it's immaterial. Okay. I have drawn the plan and elevation and also draw that in view. In view passes through the center. This is the center. Agree? Now let us mark the points. Let us mark the points where the horizontal edges of the horizontal prism cut the vertical prism. Horizontal edges of the horizontal prism cut the vertical prism. Where is this? P1, this is P1. This is P2. P1 itself is P3. This is P4. This is Q1. This is Q2. This is Q3, this is Q4. Agree? Okay. When you project P1 to the elevation, you get P1 dash. This is P3 dash. If you project the P2 dash and P3 dash, P4, this is P2 dash and P4 dash. Similarly, you get Q1 dash. This is Q3 dash. Q2 dash and Q4 dash coincide. This is Q2 dash and Q4. Now the problem is, are there more points? Are there more points? There are, definitely. This is M double dash. This is N double dash. This is R double dash. This is S double dash. On this side, on this side. So draw horizontal lines and come here. This is M dash, S dash. This is N dash R dash. Agree? Now, what is the path of the point? Path? What is the direction of the? What is the path actually? If an insect is traveling around the joint, what is the path? P1 dash, P1 dash, M dash, P2 dash, N dash, P3 dash, R dash, P4 dash, S dash. P1. That's a path on the left side. So you can connect them. This is therefore Mn. 
this is mn this is rs you can connect them in the plan you can directly connect them. one less in the elevation what happens p1 dash m dash that means it comes here comes here goes to p2 dash comes to n dash n dash to p3 dash p3 dash to r dash back r dash to p4 dash back p4 dash to s dash back s, uh, s dash to p1 dash back this is the intersection curve on the left side and on the right side q1 dash q1 dash q2 dash no problem q2 dash q3 dash q3 dash q4 dash no problem here it is uh, same same as a square pyramid if it if you a square prism if this is a square prism with the side will be like this the side and the end q1 dash q2 dash q3 dash q4 dash q1 dash the path is q1 dash q2 dash q3 dash q4 dash there are no there are no additional points on the other side of the uh, intersection in other side of the solids you can check that in this view this dotted line is a vertical edge one two three four it doesn't cut any other vertical edge there is no other vertical edge p1 P2, I mean Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. This vertical edge is around this side only. On the other side, there is only one vertical edge. That is D double dash, I double dash, DA. On which Q1 and Q3 lie. I think it is clear. Very, very interesting question. This become dotted. Even though it is a very, this, even though this question is not seen elsewhere, this question is not very difficult. Only this part is slightly complicated. The intersection come on the other side is This part is negative. If you write like this, it becomes very simple. If you write like this, it becomes very simple. I hope you understand. When you come to the plan, when you come to the plan, this becomes dotted. Because this horizontal prism is, this part of the horizontal prism is inside the vertical prism. Inside the vertical prism. So that becomes dotted. These are, these are formed. These edges are from these edges are from. I hope you understand. It's a very interesting question. You have to draw and let drawing difficult questions will enable you to solve other possible questions. That's the that's the advantage. When you draw this sort of a question, even though the frequency of this question is less in exams. Parishanja e questions theorem Mayar Nigilim. It was the question to another Mayar is a difficult question Parishanja Varnal Chiyan Namla Helpi. We think in that direction. This sort of questions will enable you to think in that aspects. Those possible, uh, uh, the, those possible complications will come to your mind. But if you have a problem, you can tell me that the difficult question is Mayar Nigilim Chiyan Namla Helpi. I hope you understand. If you are happy with my YouTube channel in engineering graphics, I request you to subscribe to my channel and uh, like it and share it among your friends. I hope you understand. Thank you.